Hey, take a look at that! Yeah, what is it? Wow, so cool! I don't know what I was expecting Habakiri to look like, but this is totally awesome! Sorry, Instructor. They got a bit carried away. Eh, it's all right. Technically, the mission doesn't start till we get to Onokuro. Just to be sure, Habakiri is establishing its own military academy. And they want us to help them? Yes. They see Edis Academy as a model, so they want our advice. Their primordial beast, Watamusubi, emanates a strong defensive barrier, which has allowed Habakiri to stay neutral and isolated. I wonder why they'd start a military academy now. Hopefully they asked us here so as to start forming closer ties. Apparently, there's a pro-federal faction here, attempting to do just that. But the higher-ups are wary, and not without good reason. That's why I brought you three, in case their fears are founded. Hey! Hurry up! We're burning daylight, guys! Sorry about them, in advance. <laughs> it's fine. Come on, let's go. Imperial Chancellor, Alphas, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. It's truly an honor. That's kind, but I can assure you the honor is all ours. Your land has long been regarded as a holy sanctuary. I never dreamed I'd actually get to lay eyes on it. I digress. Where's Sir Johanna? I am quite eager to meet him in person. Of course, sir. He awaits you at the palace. Question, who exactly is this Jahana fellow? One of Habakiri's three ministers. A real big shot, I hear. From what I know, he heads this land's pro-imperial faction. He's terribly ambitious. Oh, of course. That's right. Uh-huh. It'd be such a shame if our prize pop were to forget her mission. Uh, I didn't forget. I'd never forget something so important. We're here to... To establish an alliance between Habakiri and the Zhivlan Empire. We need this, because quite soon, we'll want their knives buried deep in the Federation's back. Best ignore such things and focus on our mission. We have an audience, right? Down at the palace? I'm getting nervous. We're meeting with their actual heads of state, right, Instructor? Yes, exactly. The choices you make here could end up having repercussions across the globe. So mind your manners. Don't make me regret bringing you here with me. Any chance you're all here? On behalf of Edis Academy? Yeah, you guessed it. So pleased to meet you. Thank you for traveling such a long way. Allow me to show you to the palace. Oh, so you're our guide. I'm Leo. What might your name be? I am Itaku Kuze. Itaku Kuze? Uh, but that's... You are our honored guests, so please, make yourselves at home here however you can. Cool. Appreciate it, old man Kuze. Let's make our way to the palace, then. But wait a minute, you three. That man, he's one of the three ministers we're here to see. Our meeting at the palace is supposed to be with him. A funny guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got me. That one smarted a little bit. And there it goes. Our hope of winning Habakiri over is dead.
かいとこまで正しくつないだ手と手なんとでもなんとでもなんとでもなんとでも刻んでくれ Thank you for your time. The information you've shared with us will be most useful. I'm glad. This was a productive meeting for us as well. It's crazy, though. I still can't believe you're one of Habakiri's ministers. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to mislead you. Not at all. Let me apologize for my students' lack of tact. Their confusion's understandable. I'm quite young for a minister, but while I lack experience, I can assure you that no one loves this country more than me. I don't think you could ask for more in a leader. Now, shall we proceed to the Academy grounds? I think we can save that for tomorrow. Well, then, if you don't need us... Of course. Explore the city at your leisure, please. All right! Shopping time! Miss Renier, a moment of your time? Absolutely. Very good. You cadets enjoy yourselves. We will. I would be all too happy to keep serving as your tour guide. But I have other duties which now call me away. Well, you're a minister, so we couldn't ask you to do that anyway. Why not? As a child, I often played tour guide for my mother. She was blind, you see, so it was my great pleasure to show her the wondrous beauty of this land through words. That's really nice. It's basically what led me to become such a fervent patriot. Listen, it would be futile to tell you not to get carried away. But at least try not to embarrass the Federation. Understood, ma'am. I won't just window shop. I'll support local businesses. Yeah, and I'll eat every scrap of food that's served to me. Because cleaning your plate is the Fukad family way! <sighs> I was told I could choose which Blaze cadets to bring along. But since the others were away, that choice was taken from me. You have my sympathies, Instructor. How about we start at the city center? Perfect! I'm pumped! The three ministers serve as the heads of our government. They're essentially our version of the Empire's chancellorship. There's Jahana the Unifier, Giba the Schemer, and Kuze, who loves this land more than anyone. They do a good job of keeping each other in check. I love the sea. The salty air, the abundance of life, and the great mystery of what lies beyond. Who lives past that blue horizon? What are they like? Such questions stir the imagination. Hey, do you think we... Live up to his fantasy. Seems they're talking about setting up a military academy. But why would we ever need one? Our country is neutral. Feels like our leaders are trying to force us into the war.
Did you come from abroad? Yeah. We're from the Federation. Really? Is it true that one of their countries is nothing but forest? Sylvair certainly has a lot of trees. Huh. That confirms it. Everyone in the Federation lives in their own little treehouse. We didn't confirm that at all. If you're here to see the sights, you may as well start with the Cascade of Beginnings. It's a famous waterfall, right? I've been wanting to see it. I don't know if the word waterfall does it justice, but go and see. It could be a life-changing experience for you. Wow, it's that special of a place? The shopping and dining districts are both up ahead. But since you're here in a group, I bet you came looking for a place to eat, right? Hmm, I'd like to sample the local cuisine at some point. But I'm more interested in shopping right now. Wow, there are so many people here! This has got me so hyped! Well, what should we do first? Let's get something to eat! I'm fine as long as I get my shopping in. I'd actually like to do some sightseeing. Great. We all want to do different things. And we don't have much time here, so... Maybe we should split up. Yeah. Let's meet back up at the palace afterwards, then. Sounds good. All right, Onokoro. Time for some shopping. Oh, jeez. There's so much I want to buy. Why do girls get so excited about shopping? I have no idea. Michelle, of course. But I want to surprise Leo and Hugo with a gift, too. <sighs> so many shops, so little time. All right, might as well start here. of goods from the Federation. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah, that's about the only thing here that doesn't excite me. Shopping is exhausting. Uh-huh, you said it. I'm always telling myself just one more shop. And with all these imports coming in, it's just getting harder. If only I could buy myself an extra body to help carry things. Yeah, if only. Okay, after we've rested up a little, on to more shopping. Are you from out of town? I love the way your clothes look. Aw, thanks. I think your outfit's cute too. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, you know what? We should swap. Then I can look like I came from out of town, too. Hmm, I don't think we're the same size. Hey, you. You're a damn foreigner, aren't you? Well done, genius. Is that gonna be a problem? This land is sacred. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Oh, how sad. Because I'm not done with my shopping yet. Oh, how dare you. Perhaps you need a little pain to help you reconsider. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Stop it. I heard every word. Who the hell are you? I'm a foreigner just like her. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course I do, you repugnant pests. What'd you call us? It's your attitude that's repugnant. Let he who has never interrupted a woman's shopping time throw the first stone! 
<laughs> you heard her. Shut up. We'll send you back to your country in pieces. I can handle these guys on my own, ma'am. You should run. <laughs> oh, no. I'm in the mood to play. Yes. Are you? There. Ready that bow, my little heroine. Here they come. <laughs> on it. I saw that coming. This isn't over! Get back here! Oh, let him go. Killing them would be a waste of our time. But why would we kill them? Well, we wouldn't. We have something more important to do. Know what that is? Let me take a guess. Shopping? Bingo! No, uh... I'm Celia Arvier. Well, Celia, for your heroic rescue, I want to say thanks by letting you go on a date with me. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. So now, the two of us are going to shop until we drop. We'll have so much fun together. Well, that does sound more fun than shopping alone. Oh, before I forget to ask, what's your name? It's Laplace. Just Laplace? Huh, where have I heard that name before? It's a fairly common name. Now, more importantly... You're right! We have shopping to do! Did any store in particular catch your eye? I'm thinking... every single one of them. Perfect! Let's do it! Exactly the kind of trinket you'd only buy on vacation. But who cares? What else does a student have to spend money on? You get it. Okay, that's one for Michelle and the other Blaze members. Oh, Blaze, huh? What did you say? Nothing. I was just admiring your pretty little eyes. Oh, that's a side effect of my embleo. I might not look like it, but I'm a student at the Knight Academy. May I ask you a question? I saw you fight with the reactor earlier. Does that mean you're an Imperial? <laughs> Do I look like a soldier to you? No, but... I like to think of myself as... someone who travels around looking for good deals. So, you're like a merchant? Is that why you have a reactor? To protect yourself while traveling? You could say that. Huh. You're really strong for a civilian. Color me impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Where should we go next? I'll let you decide, Celia. Thinking of attending our new military academy. Ooh, I'd like to go there too. After all, it'll be chock full of strapping young men. Are you sure you understand what a school is? Of course I do. It's a place where hormonal teens are placed in tense situations. What kind of life have you lived to make you reach that conclusion? That is so wrong. In what way? Ugh, don't tell me you think that schools are for learning. I do think that, because they are! This makeup says it's also good for my skin. Maybe I should try it. Celia, do you have a boyfriend? Boyfriend? No! No one like that! But there must be someone you want to sink your teeth into. My teeth? Th that's a weird...
weird way of asking if I like anyone. Is it? I think it's a funner way to ask. I feel like the implications are a bit different. Anyway, no. I'm not interested in anyone. Not like that. So you're looking at beauty products for no reason? You're just gonna put makeup on for... yourself? I'm not sure why that's confusing to you, but... yeah. <laughs> so... You want to bewitch untold hordes of men, just like me. I have no idea how you reached that conclusion. Where shall we go next? Hmm... They all look good. made for girls my age. Your age? As opposed to girls my age? I, I didn't mean anything by that. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy one for myself. Really? You think you'll wear it? But, uh... So you did mean something by it? Oh, no! I was just thinking, I'm like a kid compared to you. You're so pretty. You should be wearing designer jewelry. I'm actually amazed at how genuinely kind you are. Um, I try. You know what? You're too cute for these cheap kid accessories as well. Y you think I'm cute? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep shopping around? Yes. Ready for another round? Yeah, let's check out some more places. They sell makeup and accessories on this street. So if you need to prep for a surprise date, you're in luck. Oh, uh, no dates for me, but thanks anyway. Don't be so cold, Celia. We're on a date right now. But we're just... <laughs> oh, Celia, you really are a doll. How I'd love to break you into pieces. The idea of a souvenir shop seems kind of pointless to me. But hey, people from other countries seem to like them. boyfriends no I don't see them that way they're more like family Ooh, kinky I've seen it all dear love knows no bounds it, we're really not like that how about this ask yourself which one you could never leave alone who I can't leave alone probably Leo Alright, next. Picture a girl who's the opposite personality of you. Maybe Michelle? Now, imagine you just found out Leo and Michelle started dating. How do you feel? Huh? Well, I'd be thrilled for them if they... Oh, I seriously doubt that. Huh? huh? Trust me. <laughs> Oh, young love is so sweet. Makes me want to chew it up and spit it out. Huh. Can we take a break? Yes, let's. <sighs> it's been a while.
while since I last frolicked in the sunshine like this. Do you burn easily or something? Hmm. No, I wasn't speaking literally. <laughs> we found you. Oh no, it's them again! Goodness, look how the fools try to puff themselves up. Nasty brutes, just what do you intend to do with us? You're an infestation. One that we plan to exterminate here and now. I don't understand. They really hate anyone who's not from here? It would seem so. Today we send a signal to mark the beginning of our crusade. And what better way to start than with a sacrifice? What are they blabbering on about? Hey, Laplace, can we look for a better vantage point? Like where? Someplace a little higher than this. An unobstructed view would make it easier to handle them. Mm -hmm. Lovely idea. I'm in. Great. Then let's go! Get back here! Stop them! There's a good spot to the left. Hurry! Yes, and when we get there... We'll slaughter them all, right? S slaughter No, we can't! This is Hapakiri! So it'd be okay to slaughter them somewhere else? That's not what I mean. I know we're fighting in self-defense, but killing these guys could really complicate things. Oh, politics ruin everything. I hate holding back. Ugh, come on. Just hurry up. It really is a lovely view of how quickly we're going to be screwed over. No, it'll be fine. With this distance and just the right aim. Ooh la la, Celia. You're so impressive, my dear. Your mana-based detection is flawless. What's that? I've never heard of it. Really? Then how did you sense his position so accurately? Huh? I mean, I just looked and there he was. Using nothing but your eyes. That's it. Those men seem pretty hard to spot to me. Joining the party. For the sanctity of our homeland. Thanks for gathering all the flies, Celia. Flies? There! You're not anyway. Let's just take care of them. That's what I like to hear. Let's finish this, shall we? There! Meddling foreigners? We patriots will never stop! We've heard it before. And it was boring the first time. Please don't! He's in no condition to fight back! Oh. I don't understand your point. Why would his weakness entitle him to mercy? Miss Laplace! <laughs> I'm just teasing. But since the man's here, we may as well ask him what their plan is, don't you think? Well, yeah. <laughs> Our plan? To preserve the purity of... You're really starting to wear down my patience with... Whoop!
An explosion in Onokoro. A little too convenient. Could this be the signal they were talking about? I'm gonna be there when history is made! <sighs> if I have to... No, Mr. Celia, please. This game of yours is getting annoying. I'm just suggesting we follow him. Hmm? He said he wants to be there, yes? Then that means he'll lead us right to it. Some place important to their cause. Yes. Yes, exactly. Hmm. All right. You've convinced me. I'll clear my schedule. You have me for the day. Good. I just hope that Leo and Hugo haven't run into trouble, too. Where could that irksome red grimalkin have gone? I can't believe she took off in the middle of Sir Johanna's speech. August ordered me to find her. But where should I start? I just don't know why we're letting in foreigners now. What caused the ministers to change their minds? Uh, trying to guess your boss's thoughts is a waste of time. True. I saw the sexiest woman I've ever seen earlier. She was strutting toward the center of the city. I wish I'd been brave enough to say something to her. that there are merchants coming from Hazar. What do they bring? I'm so curious. The shopping and dining districts are both up ahead. You're really pretty, so... I bet you're interested in shopping, huh? I did remember to bring my wallet this time. So maybe I will shop once I've found that red grimalkin. I would appear to be in the middle of the city. There's a shopping district to my left and a dining district to my right. Laplace is a simple sort of creature. I can guess why she wandered off. She got hungry and went to look for food. Knowing that, I think I had better search the dining district first. I'm finally about to get a chance to sample Habakiri's best foods. I mean, uh, to show that Grimalk in her place. So many exotic dishes I've never experienced. I want to sample them all, but I must show restraint. Once I find that purring witch, I can eat what I please. The succulent aroma. Ah, I mustn't falter! This looks so delicious. No! Stay strong! Hold out just a little longer! I'm open-minded enough to enjoy food from other nations. But Habakirian food will always be my favorite. Oh dear, it's happy hour? I can't. I I'll just come back later and pay full price. A sacred crab! There's a sacred crab here! What? Uh, uh, that child! 
Please, sir! You have to save my son! I'm sorry, ma'am. But I fear there's nothing to be done. What? A crab is a servant of the primordial beast. We can't take up arms against it. But wait! I mustn't. We're here on a delicate diplomatic mission. If I do this, there will be repercussions. I could destroy everything August has worked to achieve. And yet, I can't stand idle and watch a child be killed. For a soldier to let that happen would be a disgrace! Who are you? Introductions can come later. You both want to stop this beast and save that ship, right? I don't care who you are. The time being, watch it! We're allies. Agreed. Yeah. Glad to hear it! Good. We managed to turn it back without killing it. We sure did. Were you hurt, child? No, oh, thanks. Ugh, oh, what a relief. The sacred messenger decided to turn back on its own. On its own? We drove it back, did you not? Ahem. It turned back on its own. Ah. I see. Uh, thanks. Thanks for what? I just arrived here. I didn't see anything. Oh, I think I get it now. Thanks a million, man. No, really, please. Don't thank me. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I guess we'd better get out of your hair, then. Excuse me. I don't know how to thank you. Did you not hear, ma'am? We've done nothing to earn any gratitude. We're just a couple of tourists who are passing through. So where were we? Oh, I'm Leo Foucault. Alexandra Von Song. Getting to fight at your side was a real treat, milady. Your whole style is seriously noble. You're like my new role model. Yes, well, I certainly appreciate your kind words. But you needn't treat me like I'm some patrician. Just use my name. Huh? But you are a noblewoman, right? I want to be respectful. Then just call me Miss Son. Okay, sure. Miss Son it is. Man, I'm starving. I felt hungry before, but that fight made it way worse. That's so? It sure is. I actually came out here to look for food. Do you know any good restaurants? Yes, I do. I've already done some recon and marked out several targets. Wait, several? Sweet. In that case, lead the way. Let me think about this. If sharing food with others constitutes a form of diplomacy, then I think this could fall within the parameters of my mission. Yes, very well. I shall serve as your guide. Nice! <laughs> Let's do this! Where do you want to start? Just follow me. I promise you won't be disappointed. I've got total faith in you. Lead on! You love birds out for a romantic stroll? Oh, no, no, no. It's not like that. We're only searching for a place to eat together. Ah, uh, say no more. The couple that eats together stays together. You two keep at it. Waiting in line for pudding all morning. And once I got it, I scarfed it all down so it wouldn't get stolen. Honestly, I kind of forgot to enjoy it. Hmm, this is. W what's up? Don't you sense it? What? Is it that beast again? Close your eyes and focus. 
You're sure to notice. Uh, okay. Close my eyes. Focus. Well? Do you detect it yet? That distinctive spicy aroma? Uh huh? I expect a double-sized portion will make a fair appetizer. Uh... What's wrong, Leo? Speak up. I thought we were in this together. Uh, right. I'll take a double portion, too. Maybe I should have chosen my personal hero more carefully. So, where are we going next? Hmm. Somewhere as different from the last place as possible. Oh, are you from abroad? If you're looking for food recommendations, try the green curry, the braised majiro, or the yogurt. They're good on their own, and they're great together. So, Miss Sohn, did you come to see the sights? No, I'm not here for pleasure. I'm looking for someone. Then should you really be roaming around with me? This is fine. I expect to find her goofing off somewhere around here. August should have just left her to her own devices. Why did I have to leave the meeting too? Uh, I can't complain too much. The cuisine here is exquisite. Miss Sohn? Oh, pay me no mind. What we should be focusing on is this drink. The creamy yogurt drink, huh? That sounds easy on the stomach. Good, then we'll start with a barrel full. What? That much? You said it yourself, it's easy on the stomach. Me and my big mouth. Grandma, are you seeing this? It's the face of despair. Are we planning to eat even more? Of course, I've just begun to work up an appetite. I'll take five of your largest portions. To start? What is it, Leo? N nothing. It's just that one serving is already a lot. I see. It would seem that I've misjudged you. Perhaps you're underleveled for this outing of ours? I... Uh... Meat that melts in your mouth isn't like other meats. It basically dissolves so you can eat all you want. It, yeah, I guess. Okay, I'll nobly devour some meat. That's the spirit. T tell me you're finally full. There's one legendary delicacy I'll have to try before I stop. A legendary delicacy? That description stirs the imagination, does it not? Okay, fine. for our sunny mango pudding. You're in luck. This is the last one I'm serving today. The last one? We're just in time. Oh, how I've waited. For five long years, I've yearned for this renowned confection. I you've wanted to eat this pudding for five years? Maybe longer, but I never actually thought I'd get to come here. This is a lifelong aspiration I never dreamt I'd get to fulfill. Huh. That's... nice. All right, Leo. We'll split it between us. You can have it. I'm full, really. Is that so? Well, if you insist. Ah. Uh, you're sold out of mango puddings? But I promised to get one for my little sister. Your sister, huh? Yeah. She got a cold, so she doesn't have much of an appetite. But she thought she might be able to eat some pudding. <sighs> Miss Sun? It seems that we're of one mind, Leo. Huh? I, too, suddenly feel full. I could still eat this storied dessert, but I wouldn't enjoy it. You wouldn't, huh? 
what you gonna do then? That's obvious. Thank you so much, miss. You're the best. <laughs> You're amazing. For real. That's more praise than feeding a child should merit. Hard disagree, Miss Son. You gave her a lot more than food. You gave her your lifelong dream. I'm sorry, but you might never get to see that pudding again. I suppose that's true. And yet you just handed it right over. With no hesitation. At least none that I saw. I'm serious. You just gave me a glimpse of what true nobility is. So cool. My gut was right. You are someone to look up to. What the? Look over there. A fire? No, an explosion. I haven't seen enough to guess what's going on yet. But that little girl. Oh no, we saw her going towards that. If luck's on our side, then it's nothing. But I still need to check it out. Leo, you don't need... I'm going, whether you think I should or not. <laughs> All right. You've convinced me. Come. Let's hurry! Right. We should follow the smoke. Got it! Hey, I think that's the girl! Are you okay? You're the nice lady from before. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Do you know what happens here? Pretty sure the statue blew up. What statue? I think it was a symbol of friendship with the Federation. What the hell? Let's investigate. Might as well start at the statue itself. Agreed. Crowd of onlookers. The explosion must have been quite shocking to them. Hmm. Look at that man. Is he giving you shady vibes too? Yes, he seems suspicious. I don't think I feel like letting him walk away. Nor do I. Let's go, Leo. After him. You got it. Looks like he's going towards the residential area. It does. Let's proceed with caution. The Federation sent some dignitaries here today, right? I yeah. If they see what happened here and report back, do you suppose it could lead to war? I don't think you need to worry about that. What's going on? We don't know yet, but stay safe. How can I do that if I don't know what's going on? I can't believe someone set off an explosion! This wouldn't have happened if we hadn't started letting foreigners in! After the explosion, I was bumped into by a man who was smiling. I was ready to chase him in case he was a pickpocket. But none of my things were stolen! Which way did that man go? Towards the residential area. Frankly? He gave me the creeps. He stopped. Hide, quick! Why do you think the statue was bombed? Hmm. It was a symbol of friendship with the Federation. So it could be an Imperial plot, right? No, it couldn't be. Miss Sohn? Uh, that is, I think it more likely that this was the work of a local who prefers the Empire. Someone from Hobby Kiri's pro-Imperial faction. Got it. Well, either way, we can't let their brutality go unpunished. Nothing good ever comes from supporting the Empire. Do you hate the Empire, Leo? What? Of course I hate it. 
Of course. Yeah. My entire hometown was... The Empire took a lot from me. I see. Hey, the guy's moving again. Let's go. Yes. He stopped again. Hide! Uh... What is it? Sneaking after this guy feels kind of cowardly, you know? I want to be noble in everything I do. That word again. Just what does nobility mean to you? Uh, to me? It means being brave, protecting the weak, fighting bullies. You know, stuff like that. That's all well and good. But I was hoping to hear something more personal. Your description sounds generic, almost superficial. Are you saying that my ideals are shallow? Not at all. They seem deep-rooted, unshakable even. It's just that... No, forget it. Your life and your ideals are yours alone. It isn't my place to push my values upon you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let me say this instead. It's my hope that someday... You will find a form of nobility that is yours alone. My own form of nobility. That's enough talk. He's getting away. Right. Over there. That building doesn't look like the others. Sure doesn't. It was built in the Imperial style. Wow, you recognize that right away. Well, you know. Place looks pretty packed, huh? Yes, it appears to be a place of lodging. Modeled after an Imperial Lodge, I suppose. An Imperial Lodge? And that guy came straight here. There's no doubt then. He's gotta be with the Empire. I wouldn't be so sure. Look, he's talking to someone. Let's get closer and see if we can listen in. Sounds like the explosion went off without a hitch. Yeah? I bet it really shook up the Pro-Federation faction. Serves them right. So these people are working with the Empire. Why would they do something so foolish at this juncture? Okay. On to the next target. We'll need your arts to trigger this explosion, too. Right. I'm ready when you are. Now that the Federation symbol of friendship is in pieces, we just need to take Johanna's precious Imperial Lodge and blow it up to show the Imperials as well. What? Who's there? There's no hiding now. Let's do this! All right! You two, or foreigners. Why are you here together? I don't know or care what you're talking about. We're gonna protect this place, Imperial symbol or not. There's civilians in there! The civilians? They sealed their and sold out to the Empire. Aren't for you to decide! Leo's right. I don't know your cause or what you hope to achieve. But I won't turn a blind eye to your barbaric methods. <laughs> You're the real barbarians. Get Is that so? We were planning to hunt you all down anyway. Thanks for coming here to save us the trouble. Now die! <laughs> <Fetic. laughs> Filthy outsiders! <laughs> These guys, they targeted both Federal and Imperial symbols. It would seem that they consider both nations enemies. They hate everyone they see as different from themselves. So they want to keep their country closed off to everyone. Yes, I'm beginning to understand what's going on. Hmm? Is this... Letter. Looks like an update from their allies. Let's see. Fourth Division engaged with foreign archers. 
Regroup at Sazanami Cave once situation is resolved. Is this about Celia? Who is that? One of my friends. I think they're after her. That's not good. I'm gonna go check out that cave. Understood. I wish I could go with you, but I need to confirm that my allies are safe as well. Then this is... Yes. Take care, Leo. You too, Miss Son. Hey, wait. That's no ordinary sword you have, is it? Is it a... reactor? Yes. And you've been fighting... with an emblem, have you not? Yeah. Leo, I enjoyed sharing meals with you, regardless of who you might be. Same here. And I learned a lot from hanging out with you. You're a noble person. I still look up to you, Miss Sun. Truly, your words do me honor. Best of luck, Leo. Thanks. So it's an isolationist uprising? It sounds probable, and yet it feels too simple. Here's hoping my gut's wrong for once. Please, August, be safe till I can find you. Didn't realize it would be such a long trek, but the Cascade of Beginnings was worth it. I mean, talk about a rare sight. I'll never forget it. The confluence of mana from Watamusubi in Sankara has a fascinating effect on the water there. It's a mystical place. You don't often get to see how two types of mana react. If we could study it, learn what it does, and how to make it, how might life improve? Wait, no. What am I thinking? The Federation would treat that as blasphemy. Anyway, it's time I met up with Leo and Celia. Think I'd best get moving. <laughs> that blast, it came from Onokoro. What happened? Better go see. Arguing about something. What do you think you're doing? Merchants from Hazar will be. There's no need to let them through anymore. What? They're officially approved trading partners. They're dirty foreigners, and they're not getting in. Not anymore. We're taking this country back. Starting right now. It's time, fellow patriots. Seize the gates! These so-called patriots are closing off the checkpoint? Is an uprising breaking out in Habakiri? You... You're an outsider, too! Uh-oh. They spotted me. This is bad. I need to get back to the city so I can find everyone. Fighting like this. I don't see any escape routes. What do I do? <laughs> now die! <laughs> Did I interrupt? My apologies then. What the? Who are you? You're asking for a name. Let me see. If you would like, you may call me Albert. I don't care about your name. Either get lost or die! 
I'll be off then. But might I ask for directions first? My understanding is that you self-proclaimed patriots have a base nearby. Hold on! How did you know that? Oh, it was just a hunch. But thank you for confirming it. Now I'm rather glad I stepped out of that farce of a meeting. A meeting? So the base is close. Then our next step is for one of you to guide me to it. Huh? The hell's that mean? You think that we'd help you? Of course you won't. Well, not willingly. I expect that you'll resist, which means I'll have to coerce you somehow. And well, I'm not feeling too creative. You there, young man. You mean me, sir? Yes. I'm hoping you might lend me some temporary assistance. Uh, but I... You understand the situation. Survival is far from guaranteed right now. That fact warrants an adjustment of priorities, does it not? You're right. Take the good. You're a clever and open-minded young man. You rather remind me of one of my old students. You're a teacher? Here they come. Make ready. Yes, yes sir. This is fine. Unfortunate. Can you withstand this? Turn to dust! Now, have you changed your mind about showing me your hideout? No way! I'll die before I sell out my comrades to a foreigner! Hmm. Um, this guy's a zealot. I doubt you can get much out of him. It's somewhere near the River Canyon, isn't it? What? Perhaps there's a hut there. Is that where you've holed up? What in the world are you... Apparently not. The falls. Yes, it's in a cave near the falls. Huh? How did you know? Because you were so kind as to tell me just now. What? Not that you had to. If you wish to keep a secret, you need to keep a tight lid on more than your lips. Your eyes and your face can speak just as loudly. Impressive. And now I'll be heading to their base. Where are you going? Uh, you go. And, uh, do you mind if I go with you? An unexpected request? Might I ask your reason? You're the reason, Albert. Or should I say, Imperial Chancellor August Wallenstein. Saw through my lie, did you? If you know my identity, why would you wish to join me? Seems to me that if the Imperial Chancellor himself is here, then this is the epicenter of the current conflict. If I want to ensure the safety of my friends, then I should stay near you, regardless of the danger. You're an interesting one. I accept your fellowship. You go, Simon of Blaze. You knew who I was as well? Yes. While we're together, you may call me August. Understood. There's a side path to the right that'll take us to the falls. Sounds like you're familiar with the route. I am, I just took it. Patriots! Yeah, right! They're just a pack of traitors! I'm inclined to agree. Though I can't claim to know their circumstances. Circumstances? Their reasons or excuses don't mean squat to me. Those bastards betrayed their own country! Yeah, true. Well, thanks for saving us. I never imagined we'd be attacked by our own people. One normally wouldn't. But on the other hand, betrayal happens everywhere. Even in the Empire. August? brings a Federal Knight Cadet to Habakiri. Do, do you really think I'd just tell you that? Well, for my part, I've come to form a secret alliance with this country. Are you sure you should be telling me that? I'm the Chancellor of the Empire, and I'm visiting a neutral nation. 
So I've not said anything that you couldn't have guessed. Huh? Fair point. I'm here with Blaze. We're inspecting a school. That makes matters clear. I did hear that they're founding their first military academy. It's wise of them to seek counsel early in the process. Though it's only a school, I still find it disappointing that they chose to ask the Federation and not the Empire. It would seem my diplomatic efforts have been in vain. You got all that from me mentioning an inspection? Is this the place? It is. They call it the Cascade of Beginnings. Beasts. Hugo, for the moment, we must rely on each other to survive. Let us fend for each other as good friends. <laughs> uh, I know what's the matter. You sound dubious. Not to be rude, but yeah, I am. Good friends is a strange phrase to hear from you. Bring it on! <laughs> a fair point. But that very strangeness should serve as proof. My words are earnest and uncalculated. Or at least, that's how I hope it is. You are not what I expected. How about this? There'll be nothing about how about this? <laughs> then burn bright, my embleo! Take this time to look now! Look at that. Our friendship has prevailed. I guess so. Look at the water. What a curious hue. Is it the result of Wata Musubi and Sankara's manas mixing? Most fascinating. August? If only we could send someone to study this place. Water imbued with a confluence of two different types of mana. Such a substance might improve life for us all. Huh? Is something the matter? N no. I find it a terrible waste. If only the Empire had access to such a place. If you did, would you study it? Would you use what you learned to help your people? I would. Anyway, we've spent enough time sightseeing. Let's hurry on. Right. The path ends here. I expect they have a hidden entrance somewhere nearby. Is this the spot? Almost certainly. Hopefully I'll find what I've been searching for here. And what's that? What made you decide to come here by yourself? currently in negotiations, I find the so-called pro-imperial faction highly suspicious, especially the man I spoke to who called himself Jahana. 
So what, you think Jahana's actually for the Federation? Yeah. If only it were that simple. It seems more likely that the man's an isolationist, one of those patriots. And based on the timing of this coup they've staged, well... What? situation is too much for us. I'll try to live up to your expectations. We return to Lord Watamusubi. Are you trying to say that you were lured to Habakiri as part of some scheme? It shames me to admit it. But yes, I seem to have fallen right into their hands. So that's why you left in the middle of your meeting. Is it also why you're alone? Is that what you're searching for? Your allies? You are partly correct. Unfortunate. Come. Can you withstand this? Turn to dust. Damn it! I wish I'd gone with the Sazanami crew. They're reinforcing the barrier right now. Reinforcing the barrier? Hey, what do you think? Is the plan really gonna work? I mean, the tech that device was made with is Imperial. Can it actually enhance Lord Watamusabi's barrier? What? August, did the Empire really share that tech with them? Yes. However... However? Watch out! There's so many of them! We let ourselves get distracted. What? Nonetheless, I'm glad you chose to come. You're quite reliable, Hugo. I'm counting on you. Uh, right, yeah, right. It doesn't look like you need my help at all. You have too low an opinion of your own abilities. It's your support that's enabling me to wield my full power. I'm just fighting the way I normally do. This is normal. Your squad mates are fortunate in being. I'll carve my own path. What now? You really are one of the greats, aren't you? How? <laughs> All right. I think we've cleared the area. Seems like a safe assumption. On to the reason I'm here, then. You're looking for someone, right? Yes. A prisoner. I believe him to be an adult male. You believe? We didn't exactly make a quiet entrance. The enemy may send reinforcements here soon. So we need to search quickly. Let's split up. Well, understood. Okay. We're looking for a prisoner. Why would he be kept? There's space for a man here, but I see no sign of one. Perhaps he was already killed and disposed of? No. They wouldn't dare. Considering his station, 
That would be too much risk. This wall, it looks like it was sealed recently. I should let August know about this. Ah, yes. This is most unusual. You have a keen eye, Hugo. Excellent work. <sighs> Thank you. But... It looks like a pretty sturdy wall. I don't think ordinary force is gonna move it. <laughs> then we'll have to use extraordinary force. Leave this to me. I'll amass as much power as I can, then release it all at once. That sounds intense. Yes, it requires my full attention. We found them! The intruders are here! Bring it on! <laughs> I'll hold them off. You just take care of that wall. I'm grateful. I'm also perplexed. Isn't your true goal to protect your friends? Why risk your life to assist your enemy? Fair question. As a member of Blaze, this is the last thing I should do. But not yet. I couldn't face my friend when he talks about nobility. If I abandon someone who was trying to do the right thing. So for now, I'll protect you with all the strength I have. Not yet. <laughs> you will, eh? You're an interesting young man to say such a thing to your foe. I entrust my defense to you. Good. I won't let you down. Hey! Hey! Take it! Here I come! Here I come! This is what I believe to be just! Now! I'm ready. Take. Thanks to your efforts, I've gathered enough power. Take this! You did it! <laughs> Not alone, I didn't. This only worked because you put your life on the line. If you were my countryman, I'd give you a medal. Uh, I don't know if I should feel honored or not. Now, let us see what this wall was concealing. Right. Look at that. This confirms it. Hold on, August. Who is this? This prisoner? I believe I mentioned his name to you before. Sir Johanna, in the flesh. Huh? But weren't you just in a meeting with that guy? So I was informed. But the real Johanna has been right here. Ah. Uh, okay. So then, who is this imposter you met? Who indeed? Can't say. <laughs> you pose a good question. That said, our first priority should be getting this man back to the capital. After that, I think we'll want to rush to Sazanami Cave. The insurgents we fought, they mentioned augmenting the barrier. The technology we gave them isn't meant to enhance or strengthen mana. We came upon it whilst refining our method of mining primordial mana. Put plainly, it's a weapon. Of pure destruction. A weapon capable of piercing anything. Even the heart of a primordial beast.
Hold up. Is that who I think it is? Hell yeah. I'm glad you're okay. The guys behind that explosion attacked you, right? Yeah, but how'd you know that? <laughs> my, my, Celia. The truth comes out. You do have a boyfriend. Nah, we're really not like that. We're just old. <sighs> yes, see something you like? You're staring rather intently, so... It's just... I feel like I know you. Leo? Hey, you okay? Leo. Leo, yes. Ah, oh, right. You're that boy, aren't you? What do you mean? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Forget me. I've got more important stuff to deal with right now. So, uh, who's your new friend? The name's Laplace. Just Laplace, huh? Okay. Then I'm Leo. Yes, nice to meet you. Very nice. Anyway, tell me, how did you manage to find us? Well, well. Surprise, surprise. Hold on, you're here too? Hugo? Hey, buddy, glad you found us. But wait, who's that with you? Uh, oh, him? He's, uh... Pleased to meet you. I'm called Albert. Hugo and I just met. <laughs> Is that what they call you? Okay. You know this guy, right, Laplace? Hmm. It seems you've been enjoying yourself here, Laplace. Yes, but not as much as you, Albert. Did you come together? If so, I guess that would make you business partners? Yes, that's a decent way to put it. Sorry, but... Might I ask you to go along with this? I wish that I could simply be honest, yet I fear the truth would complicate things. It's okay, I agree. I'll keep quiet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm lost, guys. What's going on here? Ah, uh, I see. Before we take further steps, let's exchange information. just want to keep us foreigners out. But you think they're planning something drastic, right, Hugo? Right. It sounds like they have plans to harm Lord Watamusubi. No way! Well, let's move it. We gotta bust in and stop him! But we need to contact the city and our instructor. Which means? We should split up into two groups. Dibs on the cave. Nobility dictates that I fight in the vanguard. I'll go with you, Leo. Celia, you inform Instructor Lisette. On it! I think I'd better stick with Celia here. Then, it seems this vanguard will be comprised of us three. Didn't you say you were a merchant, Albert? It's fine, Leo. I can vouch for his strength. He's tough, huh? Glad to have you on the team, then. Likewise. Let's proceed into the cave. Here's a question. If these guys are so in love with their country, why would they pick on their nice turtle friend? A very interesting question. But whatever their plan for him may be, we shan't allow them to sacrifice innocent lives. Hmm. No, we wouldn't want that. Best of luck, Albert. Leo, you go. You two be careful. We will. You two do the same. Of course. Guys, these jerks and their schemes are no match for us.
Hey, what happened to the guy you saved? You know, that Jahana guy. We entrusted him to some soldiers at the checkpoint. That's good to hear. Do you know why these jerks kidnapped him? Probably so that their Jahana could take his place. Their Jahana? Oh, yeah. You said that there was an imposter Jahana. <laughs> and Albert had a meeting with him, right? <laughs> Were you guys talking trade or what? Yes. We discussed what would have been a very lucrative deal. There's <laughs> nothing left. To him so soon. You weren't. Well, judging from their numbers, I think they've made a second base of this cave. Can't waste time. We need to reach Lord Watamus. Yeah! Yeah. We've got this. And I'm not going to do this. Yeah. Nothing left. Come on! Okay, let's keep going. Looks like this path is blocked. Let's find another way. Oops. Think we can squeeze through here? It's our only option. But if it's rigged with traps, then our lives will end quite meaninglessly. seen anything like it. I wonder what the fake Jahana wanted. If I had to guess, I'd say that he was hoping to detain me. Or kill me. Huh? Alive, I'd make a useful hostage. And as a corpse, I'd be quite easy to frame. As the mastermind behind whatever Jahana plans to do. Wow. Your mind goes to some dark places, huh? Take that! Take that! Bring it and up! Hey Once you put the pieces together, this whole thing seems to be pretty dang simple, you know? How do you mean? <laughs> I bet most of these guys know less than us. They're getting led along, hoodwinked. 
hands, if their leader's planning what we think, he's getting tricked too, by his own feelings. Leo, you don't have to pretend like you understand. Hey, that's not... I wasn't... Actually, I found that quite insightful, Leo. Seems you've a knack for seeing into the heart of things. You think? Appreciate it. Wait, Leo, stop. Huh? Something feels off. Yes, I agree. Huh? What feels off? Here it comes! That was you. Correct. You go and I both knew when to stop. Whatever. Get your noble faces on. It's fighting time. Sheesh, you know. You two could make even a mundane task amusing. Hi, come on! I'll run like that! Can you withstand this? Let's go! Like that! Bring it! Can you withstand this? Let's try that again! Here it goes! I want this thing go down already! Its armor's too thick! Our attacks aren't getting through! Wasting time here! Agreed. I have a suggestion for you both. Let us move in sync to finish it off at once. Done! Three of these. How does it mean using your reactor? Borrowing the power of the Empire. Come on! No! It wouldn't be noble to waver here. That's the Leo I know. I take it you're ready? Come, Ray! This is the Bukat family way! Take this time to reflect. Take that! Turn to the dust! Another battle of that! Take that! And another! That went better than I thought it would. Your teamwork was magnificent. You were pretty great yourself, Albert. If you joined the Imperial Army, you could be an Alpha. <laughs> That'd be a change of pace. <laughs> yeah. this again Leo don't let your guard down sound advice doing so now could lead to a swift death D <coughs> all right we're through Lord Watamusabi can't be far no doubt the Patriots will be there too we'll have to be ready for them <laughs> the three of us we'll be all right You outsiders taint this place with your very presence! Do not disrupt our communion with Lord Wagamusuvi! Your communion? Our country doesn't need your foreign goods and ideas. 
It needs stronger barrier to keep us out of your war! Then why use an Imperial weapon of mass destruction? So he'll hear our wish! The weapon will wake him up! We'll tell him of the danger! And ask him to strengthen the barrier! Can you you'd attack a primordial? There's a dust! Can you withstand this? Come on! Turn to dust! Come on! Damn it! We've got to reach Lord Watamusubi! You fool! If you activate that weapon, you won't wake him up. You'll pierce his heart. What? That's ridiculous! He's lying! He must be! Don't listen to him! You're confused. Maybe they really don't know. I think Leo was right. Yeah, I figured someone was just using them. And now we just need to find out who that is and what they want. But first, let's focus on securing this area. Understood. Come on! Come on! Come on! Your guard up, Leo. This will be a piece of cake. Then, find another. Take that. This place under control. Looks like it. But we still need to stop that weapon. Look there. Someone's next to the primordial beast. I see him. Behold the great Lord Watamusubi. He is glorious in every way possible. None could deny that truth. Right, Leo? Could they, Yugo? It's you. Uh, old man Kuse? What are you doing here? Chahana. What? That's the name he used when he met with me. He's the imposter. And most likely, this group's leader. You're kidding. Since we're revealing everyone's identities, why don't I take a turn? You don't mind, do you? Chancellor August Wallenstein? Like the Imperial Chancellor? He's not telling the truth, is he, Albert? He is. Why are you doing all this? What's your goal? Attacking a primordial beast? Inciting a rebellion? Based on your actions, it would seem that for some reason you've turned against your own country. Against it? Nothing could be further from the truth, sir. As for those men who think they're patriots, they're in the habit of interpreting my desires in a way that suits their own. I'm but a humble man who loves his country more than anything. Huh? Once Watamusubi's barrier fails, this land will fall upon the sword of the world. We'll meet our end in glory. With a noble clash and a tragic fall. That's all I really want. An end worthy of this land. You want it all to end? But you love this place. I love it exactly as it is. I won't let it fade away as a husk of what it was. Instead, it will die in a blaze of glory. And one final display of nobility. That's not right. I'm trying my best to understand you, but you don't make any sense! Ah... Perhaps you're too naive to understand. Yeah... That might be... But I'll tell you what I do know. The nation of Habakiri? And the people who call it their home? Aren't you? 
You've got no right to make them suffer over your idiotic ideals! The minister you are! If your plan is so wonderful, then why'd you try and hide it? There's nothing noble about forcing your ideals onto others. That Leo's what? right. There's no such thing as dying a beautiful death. You speak as if you have your country's interests in mind. But in the end, you're too attached to your personal vision for it. You're fast saving, and you never should have climbed this high. I have no interest in your opinions. And more importantly, I don't have time for them. This will settle it! Can you withstand this? Nothing left. Come down. Yeah, let's do this nobly. Glad to see you're so into this. I messed up! Give me nothing left! I won't let you stop me! I shall deal with the weapon myself. You two, take down Kuze. We're on it. Hey. Old man Kuze. Let's just not... Let's not what? Leo. You think I'll abandon my beloved Habakiri when she needs me most? You think I'll just give up? You think I'll let it hit like this? I have several of them. I implanted them myself. Are you insane? Don't you know what that does? It cuts your lifespan. That fact is of no consequence. After all, my goal was always to guide my country to her end and die alongside her. Oh. I messed up. On my homeland. And on both of you! <laughs> what the? What is this power? Without a good reason. Anyway, we've got bigger problems right now. We gotta stop this egotistical tyrant first. Back on my feet. No. Take this fight head on! Come on! Right. Just your style, Leo. Damn it! Seriously? Let's shut up! Seriously? Let's try that again! 
To go, Leo. Yep, I'm ready. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what happiness tastes like. This will do it. Watch it. <laughs> Damn it. Not yet. Keep your guard up, Leo. This will be a piece of cake. Right, you go! Definitely. You two are surprisingly skilled. Ha. It's Mancusi. He'll walk away from this. Walk away? And go where? I've spent my entire life in this country. And it's here I plan to die. Why do you have to be such a stubborn idiot? No! You go! Definitely. Take that! So much power. It seems I've lost. I fought with every scrap of life force I had, yet I still couldn't beat you. Old man Kuse, why did you do this? I already told you. Because I love this country more than anything. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Come closer, and I'll tell you something that will help you understand. Come, Leo. This is my final wish. So please. Fine. No, that can't be. You're lying. You don't have to understand or believe me. But remember. Remember what I've told you. I hope that you will find a better solution for this. But I truly don't believe you can. is beautiful. If this sight is my last, then I am blessed. Kuse, I still don't. hasn't dampened their spirits at all. It's had no effect. Apparently not. So what's going to happen to Habakiri? Will it be okay, or...? It should be fine. Despite the scope of what was attempted, the incident resolved with minimal damage. I wonder if that wasn't deliberate. Maybe Kuze planned it out, so that things would be okay if he failed. I couldn't tell you. I hear that before he died, 
Kuze said something to Fulcad. Did you catch what it was? No. And Leo made it out to be nothing. But hey, regardless of what he was told, it's Leo. He'll do the right thing. You have a great deal of faith in him. Yes. More than anyone. Or anything. Hey, hurry up! We've got a ways to go! And we gotta be quick. I want the tale of my noble adventures to be fresh. <laughs> well, for the record, you three did excellent work. I'm impressed. We're counting on you to keep it up. And carry the torch when your time comes. Ever. I didn't get to enjoy myself at all. It was such a drag. Oh, don't be so glum. I think that trip was rather fruitful. Oh, you would say that. Well, it wasn't a total bust. I did have fun with Celia. I made a friend. A young man who I'd say has a promising future. Yay, you. But in what sense is this to be considered fruitful? A fair point. We did fail to accomplish our initial goal. What do you mean? Our hopes of an alliance? It's fine. I had spoken to them enough, by letter, to know that Johanna's faction was largely ruled by arrogance, the kind hard to temper with truth. So I never expected much from their group. Uh, oh, understood. In that case, how did we benefit from that trip? It yielded two advantages. First of all, it let me get in direct contact with Watamusubi. And second, it got me in touch with a rare talent. He'll be the Empire's fourth Alpha. And he will be instrumental in ending this war. An Alpha to start, and to end all things. Yes. And with that, I conclude my report on the events that transpired in Habakiri. <laughs> Your report is welcome. You may go. Right. Now then, how else may I serve? Let me see. Well, there's Leo Fulcad and Hugo Simon. Their first years of Edith's Knight Academy. And new Blaze Cadets. How to put this? Both of them are of great interest to me. In fact, I would like to speak with them. Have them brought before me. Certainly, yes. I will take the necessary steps to have that arranged for you. How diligent of you. You're kind to say so. But of course, once you give a command, it must be obeyed, Vicar Cannon. Next time on Tales of Luminaria Crossroads.
the co-op mission. Now it's our turn to achieve something, am I right? Stop talking yourself up and start moving. Right! <laughs>